you know me, when I get to drive something pretty special, I always have a bit of an out of body moment, but just listen to that! Oh, 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 dear me. Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped, and welcome to the headquarters of the market by Bonhams. That can mean only one thing. Oh yes, it's hammer time. So yes, what car have I got in store for you today? Well, I got an email from Ollie at the market last week saying, I think the car for the next episode of Hammer Time is here. It has a real link to you at Goodwood. Goodwood, I said. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Well, I parked it just over there. <laughs> I mean, come on, just look at it now. There are multiple reasons why I was very keen to come and drive this car today. I guess first up, if you watch my video I did from the Bonhams auction at members meeting, there was an amazing BMW 2002 in Marlborough livery. And many of you just fell in love with that car and had a real thing for it. So I thought there was a nice link there, another 2002. But the other thing is, I live very close to Goodwood. I'm sure many of you know that. I go along to lots of the Goodwood events, Festival of Speed, Revival, and members meeting. But one of the really interesting things, especially around Revival and members meeting, those two events have almost spurred on this market for cars that qualify for those races or qualify to be invited to those races, historic racing cars. And what that generally means is those cars end up having a slightly elevated price because people will literally go out and say, I want to race at Revival or I want to race at Members Meeting. I need a car to do that. And they go off and look for one. Well, if you are one of those people, look no further because this car actually was raced by Jochen Mass at the 72nd Members Meeting. It's, it's pretty much ready to go. It needs a few things doing to it but I'll get to that very shortly. But first up, look at it. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning thing. Let's take a quick look round and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the detail of this car. So let's start off by taking a look at the engine under this iconic clamshell bonnet. Really is very cool in here. So this is a Schnitzer engine with a Lester Owen head. The engine was built by Mass Racing and it's producing about 200 horsepower. And that all goes through a five speed manual gearbox. But it is just, it's just so cool in here. And honestly, I've only moved this car literally just to park it up here. The noise this thing makes is unbelievable. But yeah, really cool. And I love all the details under here. Obviously you've got the kind of strengthening bar, but then at the top of the, the shock mount, you've got all the different marks for um, setting up and positioning the car. It's just really, really cool. So let me close up this bonnet and then I want to talk to you about the incredible livery. So this Varsteiner livery is pretty iconic and actually dates back to 1972, which just happens to be the year of my birth. So another nice tie-in with this car. Clearly you've got the driver lineup, Jochen Mass and Simon Diffie from when it raced at members meeting. 
But when you actually start to look at this livery more closely, you realize it's not stickers, it's hand painted. It's absolutely stunning. You can actually see the brush strokes um, on the bonnet and then the Varsteiner livery just behind the door is so beautifully done. Really, really very, very special. Let's take a wander around the back of the car and then I've got to show you on the inside. And one of the cool things I love about race cars is it has a startup procedure as well. I'm sorry, but I just think this car is way too cool for school. Again, another hand-painted Varsteiner livery on the back. Now that exhaust, I think that's probably a muffler just to quieten it down a little bit because it's loud anyway. And I guess if you wanted to take it on a track day, it, it, I've noticed it's actually got a 105 decibel sticker on the front. So that means you can get it into a 105 decibel track day, but I'm pretty sure when it's racing, that muffler's taken off and it's even louder than it is. But it's just a super, super cool thing. And like I said, that the, the 2002 that went under the hammer at members meeting in the Marlborough livery, I really like that, but that was quite a kind of slammed street racing style. This is just out and out historic race car. And it's really, really cool. But if you think the outside's cool, let's show you on the inside. <laughs> it's mega. Now, there's always a bit of a knack getting into a race car. Oh, look at that. Did that quite well. Oh man, it's so cool in here. Now, this seat, I don't think it's on sliders, so I'm just gonna have to live with that driving position for this short test drive. Um, but it is very, very cool in here. Now, this car is ready to go racing. However, as I'm sure many of you know, with race cars, there are certain items inside a race car that have uh, date limits. So if they're not in date, when it comes to scrutineering, they won't pass scrutineering. So in this particular car, if you wanted to go racing, you'd have to uh, basically update the fire extinguisher system, the seat belts and the seats so that they were all in date. And then you're ready to go. But it is a really, really cool thing. Now there is a pretty funky startup procedure. So you've got a, a, a nice electrical battery cutoff switch here. So you click that to the up. So that's armed. You've got then a water or fuel pump. And then this little thing there and you click that up and then a push start. Come on, come on. Oh my days. Right, so take this bad boy for a drive. Oh, and as if by magic, the sun's come out. I thought I'd take you behind the scenes right from the get-go of me driving this car because actually when it was raining this morning, it wasn't massively up to going out for a drive, to be honest, because I was a bit worried about it. But hopefully it's a bit drier now. So yeah, these belts, as I said, you'd need to update them. I think they went out of date for racing anyway in 2015. All right, for on the road. Um, I've also gone for a wireless lapel mic because I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit noisy in here. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Oh, hello. snug as a bug in a rug. Right, let's do this funky startup procedure. Just clutch down, isolator switch on, fuel pump on, master cutoff on, start. Took a little bit of a little bit of effort. So, very, very cammy, very racy engine. Are we ready for this? Oh my days, no handbrake, so there's the biting point. Oh, wow. So not far from the market are some nice country lanes that I'll be able to kind of experience the car. But for now, I just want to get my head around driving such a cool race car. <laughs> That's it. What a car, he says, indeed. So the car's cold, so I'm just going to warm the car up properly. And then we'll get to some nice, nice bits of road will enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to have a moronic grin 
for the whole of this test drive. Oh yeah. Okay, so a few things have happened. The car's warmed up and so have I. It's so hot in here. But I've brought it out to one of my favorite bits of road and honestly, I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to hear me because this thing sounds absolutely insane. Oh boy, and look at this bit of road. So I'm just having a bit of a moment. Jock and Mass are sat in this very seat. This car's raced at Goodwood. Just listen to it. That's 5,000 RPM. The red line to seven. I'm not so sure I'm going to have the well, the mechanical sympathy to rev it that high. It's so loud. But it's absolutely insane. Oh man, you know me, when I get to drive something pretty special, I always have a bit of an out of body moment, but just listen to that! Oh, 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 oh. oh dear me. sensible commentary I meant to, to do on the drive like this if I'm honest. I don't think I'm going to do a great deal. Well, while I'm chugging along behind this refuse lorry, it's so definitely a race engine this. It, it really doesn't like it unless it's being revved. I'm going to get it up on its cams and then it sinks. Below down, it's you know, below about 3,000 RPM. It doesn't have a great deal. Come on, pull over. Oh, he's going to pull over. Look at that. What a gent. Here we go. settle down following my lovely refuse lorry in front. The auction for this car goes live next week on the market by Bonhams. I'll put a link in the description below and details of how you register for the auction and so on if you're interested. I think the estimate for this car is between 50 to 70 thousand pounds and honestly I think with the provenance it's got having been raced at Goodwood by a legend like Jochen Mass and just the general prep of the cars and the outside of the car with the hand-painted sign righted livery just wicked oh boy oh my 
my days. Let's just enjoy a drive along this beautiful bit of road in this stunning, stunning car. Steering's quite heavy, but then it's got no, no power assistance or anything like that. None of those rubbish modern driver aids. It's just so got to be on cam, though. And actually on the public road is... Man, it doesn't like being low down at all. racing driver mode quite quickly. Do you know what? Sometimes there are cars that just have this intangible thing and that might be looks or noise or... Oh. <laughs> and this is both of those. Both of those. Absolutely magnificent. Uh, yeah, I'll be bidding. I don't know exactly how much I'd use a historic race car, but it just looks so cool. It sounds incredible. Seriously, what's not to like? Ooh. I'm going to mellow down. Mellow down on this beautiful bit of road, give me my final impression to this stunning 2002 race car. This, guys, this is why I was so excited about partnering up with the market by Bonhams. To get access to a car like this, to drive it, to share it with you, just to experience it personally for myself on a selfish point of view, to say I've driven this car is amazing. And I just think it's wonderful. Yeah, to drive cars like this, on a day like this, it's what my partnership with the market's all about. So as I said, I'll put details of the auction below and how to register and take part if you're interested in the car. But I'll be back again next month for another hammer time. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my drive back to Market HQ in this wonderful, wonderful car. Let me know what you think to it, guys, in the comments below. But if you've enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next build. You take care. Drive safe.